Orthopedic Health Information, brought to you by Professional Orthopedic Associates. Hi, I'm Chris Johnson. I'm a board-certified fellowship-trained orthopedic surgeon, and I'm here today to briefly discuss a common problem which occurs when people fall. Most falls that cause fractures at the wrist break the bones in the forearm, but not uncommonly there, are, there is another fracture which can occur in the wrist which is particularly dangerous. This involves a small wrist bone called the scaphoid. This bone has a very poor blood supply, so when it's injured, unless it's treated correctly, it often does not heal. If it doesn't heal correctly, then over a period of time, it definitely develops into a wrist arthritis. So it is a very important injury both to recognize and treat correctly. This occurs when a force is applied to the wrist and people afterwards notice swelling and pain on the thumb side of the wrist. There is an anatomic area of the wrist, which we call the snuff box, which refers to an area where during the Middle Ages people used to put snuff in order to inhale it. Uh, it is a valuable landmark for us now to identify this small bone deep inside the wrist. If you have a fall and you notice that you have pain swelling and difficulty using your wrist, you should consider going to see an orthopedic surgeon because it's very important to recognize that that bone may be injured. There are new treatments available that treat this bone very, very well and also allow you to do many of the things that you're used to. We used to frequently treat this bone with casting. Uh, a lot of patients now are candidates for it to be treated surgically to allow an earlier return to function. This has been Orthopedic Health Information, brought to you by Professional Orthopedic Associates.